Hi and welcome back. Now I'm not going to bore you with some history of the C language which is the first language that we're going to cover uh, in this course but what I am going to tell you is um, no price for guessing prior to C there was a language called B and B language was used in a Unix system so the operating system called Unix they used the language called B and it wasn't quite um, uh, developed and it wasn't quite established in, in the market so what they decided to do was to develop a new language that would be used to further uh, expand on the, the Unix system so they came up with a language called C the language C is a low level language well very close to machine code where in machine code you've got binary so if we go back to, to here and we said uh, you've got binary which is basically a collection of one zero one zeros ones and zeros the one basically means on so if you think of a switch when the switch is switched on it's on that means one and when it's switched off it's zero and inside the computer you've got your, your microprocessor the chips itself uh, which is as you know a processor and inside that the, the main technology behind the, the, the processor is what's called a transistor so the old ancient computers they use these transistors and what a transistor is is like a switch a switch on switch off so every time there's a signal passing through the wire it means on which is one and if it's off it's zero so that's binary and from binary the next level up from that is assembler code Right, so you've got assembler programming language which is it's got some instructions, so a bit of binary and on top of that a bit of memory and then you've got some things like uh, commands or statements such as add, subtract, sub, add, all these things and they're used for uh, machine programming. And obviously that's very difficult to, to learn as well as just programming directly into binary and making sense of it. So they develop something slightly higher which is more meaningful and more in the human natural language which is the English language and they develop C. After the C programming which is a procedural programming language uh, they then expand it into different branches. You've got your C++ they added the concept of uh, object oriented programming and we're going to go into that on a later stage not in this tutorial where we talk about C programming which doesn't have any object oriented uh, concepts at all but when we do get to cover C++ or the other languages I'm going to discuss in a moment then we'll start talking about what object oriented is all about and uh, we'll define what objects are and from the C language they also came up with Objective C now Objective C is used for the, the Macintosh uh, and it's used on all the you know the, all the latest technology stuff like you know you've got iPhone, you've got iPad, um, so all these all these things they use this language called Objective C. Objective C is another object oriented programming, so C plus objects. That's that's basically what um, Objective C is all about. And then you also have C Sharp, which took some things from C++, which Microsoft uh, developed C Sharp. They took C++, they took a bit of C, and they came up with their own language, which is very close to both those two. So they're very close, so it's easier to learn. Uh, and that's Objective-C is slightly different than C++. Uh, the syntax is just flipped the other way around, so it, it does... So learning C++ is not going to really benefit you in learning C, C, uh, Objective-C unless you know, it might benefit you in the sense that uh, at least you'll have an understanding of objects. And obviously from, from C as well, you've got your Java. So if you've heard of Java programming, um, that came from, from C. So everything, as you can see, originated from C and then they, they then started developing each language and then you have all these other languages as well such as Python, Ruby, um, 
you've got just so many to mention in this tutorial, to be honest with you, and we're not going to cover all of them. Um, what I am doing, I will be covering C Sharp, and uh, I'll be covering C++, I'll be covering C, and I'll be covering uh, Objective-C. I might later on move into Java and talk about um, JSP, uh, which is the web side of Java, uh, Java Servlet as well. So we, we might discuss that, um, but I haven't quite decided if I'm going to get tutorials on that or not. But for the moment, we're here on C. So in the next lessons, I'll be talking about C and the basic syntax of C programming. Uh, we might start a short code introduction on the board before we go into the computer. Alright, see you in the next tutorial.